Well, well, you're still here. All right then, let's do this thing. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to story mode. So some of you may have already noticed I've done a little bit of work since last time. Uh, leveled Dermin up a little bit. Also run around to all the surrounding areas and attuned myself to the etherite crystals there. All so that we can really hit the gas on the story questing stuff today. Speaking of which, let's just go ahead and get to it. Sisidoa needs a reliable adventurer to deliver a gift to the coffer and coffin. You're an adventurer, yes? If you're not otherwise occupied, I have a favor to ask. I have resolved to repay a debt of gratitude, which I owe to the owner of the coffer and coffin. For this purpose, I've purchased from the Royal Plantations a prodigiously plump pumpkin. A particularly popular piece of produce. Oh, this is how you speak, huh? Alas, I cannot part this place to procure and proffer the pumpkin. You see, the scheduled shipment from the Nanawa Mines, for which I wait, is late. I would prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead, and see it safely to the coffer and coffin. Present this receipt of purchase to Gagari at the Royal Plantations, and she will yield it to you. I apologize for asking you to attend to this time-consuming task, but I truly appreciate your assistance. <laughs> it's... it's not even that far away, bud. It's like right here. It's like right here. You know, that's fine. We're low level-ish, and... <laughs> this is the sort of task you assign to a low level adventurer in need of work. And hey, it's given us a chance to get a feel for the area, get a feel for the local problems, help out the local people, make some connections. This is good. If Sisadoa doesn't come calling soon, this spectacular specimen shall sadly be past its prime. Does everyone speak this way? In this area, around this farm, a receipt of purchase. Here you go. Give pumpkin. Oh, so you're to deliver this decadent delight. I can say with confidence that any gourmand would be grateful for such a grand gift. Stop it. Here's the pumpkin. I hope it meets with Roger's approval. Fresh produce is somewhat scarce in these parts, and as such, we are always there's al uh, we are always deluged with demand. You know the way to the coffer and coffin, correct? It's beyond the bridge to the northwest. Look for a place where local laborers lounge. Oh my gosh, we're going. We're leaving. <laughs> so yes, as I was saying, these uh, these early quests that we're going to be busy with probably for the next episode or two. I am bad at estimating. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of just local stuff, getting to know the area, the immediate surroundings of Ulda, kind of seeing what Ulda is about and the sorts of problems its locals have. It's small time stuff, but that's kind of the great thing about 14. Any given thing you run into could become important later. Not everything's going to, but uh, it, I am routinely amazed in my kind of like main character playthrough what elements and characters and places keep coming back and being important and relevant to later things. And it's a, it's a fun aspect of it, so uh, you'll see eventually. Drink for you, laddie. You won't get better ale or spirits for your coin than at my place. That boy, the boy. Bad attempt at an accent, or not even an accent, just cadence. It was bad all around. Have a plantation pumpkin. What's that? We well, see Doa asked you to bring this here to me? Ha! Yeah, so even that foul-mouthed drunk knows the meaning of remorse. Reckon this is for the time I carried his drink-sodden arse back home. But hell's an honest-to-god's pumpkin from the Royal Plantations. Can't wait to see what cooks will do with her. The lads here scoff down beastly amounts of meat, and it's starting to tell on their health. It'll be good to get more vegetables in their bellies, assuming I can get them stubborn bastards to try something new. Thanks for the help, laddie. You bet. There's gonna be some... Oh, hey, another level. Good. I was... <laughs> I was wanting a few more, just to top it off. Uh, all right, Roger, here's all sorts of information in his line of work, some of which may be useful to you. Do tell. Where it is, Blackbrush Station is sorely undermanned. The stone torches there can't get a moment's peace. Bloke by the name of Warren's hoping to bolster their numbers for a short-term assignment or two. If you fancy putting a few extra gill in your pocket, you could do a lot worse. Thank you for the tip, sir. I'm off. And I believe Blackbrush Station's gonna be right up here. Vroom. You have a sprint button, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned the sprint button. <laughs> it's got a one minute cooldown and only goes for 20 seconds, but... I don't know, it's fun to sprint. What do you want? Hello, sir. Sir. Looking for work, perchance? If so, you couldn't have come at a better time. We stone torches are swords, hired by Amagina and Sons Mir... N uh, boy. <laughs> It's a bad sign if I'm goofing up readings already. Hired by Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern to protect its interests. Our primary duty here is to keep the tracks clear of pe pests, and it's for this purpose that we require your aid. 
I should point out, however, that it can be messy work, and liable to get messier still if you're ill-prepared. A single piece of gear can mean the difference between life and death. I'll not have it on my conscience that I sent an ill-equipped adventurer to an untimely demise. I see to it that your arms and armor in or are in order. When you're ready, present yourself to me again. You got it. Equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of item level 5 or above before returning. I think it- yeah, 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 we're good. I Like, I'm still in some pretty basic gear here, but good enough for this guy. So, you ready for inspection? Yes, sir. Good. Everything appears in order. Yet know that naught is guaranteed in this world. Fate's a fickle mistress, after all. At any rate, capable adventurers like you are few and far between, and I would not have you throw your life away. I've had to bury too many comrades who brushed aside cracks in their hauberks and dents in their helms. No matter what you face, do not disregard the importance of gear. Good advice for me. Hey, and this is slightly better than what I'm wearing, you know? I mean, I do kind of love our starter gear and our little, like, kerchief? Scarf? Hood? I don't know what this is that I have. I actually kind of like my starting gear. I'm going to stick with it for now. Whatever. We're we're level 17 doing level 9 quests. We're fine. <laughs> Warren has work for an adventurer willing to exterminate the Coblins attacking ore wagons. Well, let's get to it then, shall we? Ore wagons pass through this station every day, but not without incident. Wagons coming and going from the dispatch yard to the south must pass through a tunnel by Feska's watch. A tunnel in which some genius saw fit to put an ore storehouse creating ideal conditions for a coblin nest. So now the ore-loving beasts have taken up residence in a tunnel we dug, and we're practically delivering meals to their doorstep. But no more. Inside the tunnel in question, you'll find a narrow fissure where the coblins hide. Use this silver ore cluster to lure out the creatures and then slay them. You got it. This job is in safe, short little hands. Run! And here we are, sort of, where's the, uh, here we go. Narrow Fisher. Let's lure out and slay some coblins. Um, using a silver ore cluster, here we go. Bring it. I am quite overleveled. This should go fast. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. By the way, you will see those little uh, patterns emerge on the floor like that. If you've played MMOs, you probably know what those are pretty intuitively. Those are little, like, danger areas that you want to step out of before they go away. If you're still in them when the little uh, area disappears, you are about to take probably a big hit. Not really that big a hit from monsters like these, but uh, once you start getting into dungeons and eventually raids and such, sometimes those areas could one-shot you, depending on how bad the hit you're about to withstand and how tanky a character class you are. Anyway, not really important right now. Go! Let's see just how fast we can burn through these really early story quests and start getting to something more interesting. Well done. It shan't be easy work to keep the tunnels free of coblins, but our wagons should be able to go unmolested for a time. Disruptions to ore shipments threaten not only the interest... Some hair on that, dude. Uh, interests of Amagina and Sun's mineral concern, but of Ulda herself. One might liken these train tracks to veins that bear our nation's lifeblood. If only we had more men like you to lend a hand. Alas, I'm one of a kind, and your wep- These are all bad, I'll just take the money, thanks. <laughs> Alright then. That's that. Where's our next, um... Where's our next- Oh, here we go. Hello. I, I really appreciate that they do mark these story quests with this nice, unique icon. These are all side quests, and you'll see some other kinds of quest markers around here and there. I'll point them out as we see them. They all mean different categories of quests. Some are far more important than others. These are usually the least important of the bunch. Though if you're playing yourself, like if you're playing, if you decide to play 14 yourself, I do recommend stopping to do these now and then, uh, both for the additional goodies you can get, but also they tend to be a great way to get flavor for each local area you visit and get to understand it better. Um, honestly, sorry, I know I'm, I said we were going to go fast and now I'm stopping to talk with good hair, dude, but the, like, one of the things that makes the early quests boring is that these quests I'm doing as the main story quest, this is the kind of caliber thing you would do as side quests later in the game. Stuff that's telling, like teaching you about the area and you're helping to solve some local problems. Usually the main story quests are about much more important things once we get going. Let's get going. Uh, Zuzumeda wishes to share with you a most amazing rumor. Tell me this thing. Similarly heighted person, nice to see you. Ah, the altruistic adventurer. I was hoping we'd bump into each other. Why? because the most fascinating piece of news recently reached my ears, and I'm eager to share it. May I? Rumor has it that there's a vast, untapped vein of ore beneath the ruins of Sildi. 
But that is not all. Inconceivably, the concern appears to be entirely ignorant of its existence. And even as we speak, a young upstart, a self-made merchant from Stone's Throw of all places, is moving to claim it. The fellow's name is Wiston, and he's a very, very ambitious young man. Not only does he intend to secure exclusive excavation rights, but they say his master plan is to use his new fortune to curry favor with the Sacrarium. Of course, the Thaumaturges only consider the opinions of the most wealthy when drafting the laws of Ulda. If you'd have your voice heard, you must be prepared to pay a Sultan's ransom. One voice which is invariably heard belongs to Lord Lolorito. He, was lo he has long lavished gill upon the Thaumaturges, and some claim that he devises new laws with the express intention of ruining his competitors while protecting his own interests. Suffice it to say, if Wiston thinks he can compete with the likes of the Syndicate, he is in for a rude awakening. But that eventuality may yet be a little way off. For the present, he's moving ahead with his plans and assembling a team to survey the site. Do you want me to do anything, bud? I, I appreciate the story, but I'm told he's at the Coffer and Coffin right now, recruiting able-bodied adventurers to escort his prospectors. Warren said you were looking for work. Maybe you should meet Wiston and volunteer for his expedition? Does sound like that dude's gonna need some backup. Let's head back to the Coffer and Coffin. Hello, hello, everyone, I'm back. Did you miss me? You must be Wiston. Or Wiston. Wist- whatever. Name pronunciation's gonna be an issue in this series. Come to join? Uh, sorry, but you're too late. Some brass blades looking for extra coin volunteered, and the team's already en route to the ruins. But look, I know it's not easy to find work these days. If you're interested, there's something else you could do for me. Uh, there are these children outside, little ones from Stone's Throw. I look after them when I've got time to spare, and so they've taken to following me around, even when I tell them not to. But what with overseeing the search for the vein, I barely have a chance to visit the privy at the moment, much less entertain younglings. Can you give them these ginger cookies and convince them to go home for me? You bet. These kids should not be out here. Maybe at all. Definitely not now. It's getting late. Kids, are you... You're taller than me. But also starving, so have a cookie. I ain't going nowhere, mister. I'm too hungry to move. Besides, uh, I'm too hungry to move besides, so you'll have to carry me. Uh, here. Have a cookie. A cookie? Well, if Weston really wants me to go home, then alright, but I want two next time. Alright, kids. Cookies for all. But Weston always plays with us. Why don't he come out and play? Shush. Have a cookie. Wow, a ginger cookie. I better save some for my brother. I know, I'll go home and eat it with him. Good kid. Weston's kind to us. I like him. There you go. Cookie for all. I'm really good at dispensing snacks. <laughs> Maybe adventuring wasn't my, like, true calling. This is for me? I want to eat it, but then again, I don't, because then I'd be gone. And tell Weston thanks, and tell him I'm sorry for getting in the way. Are you sure you're a kid? You're, you're a Lalafell, and you're, like, very nearly my height. I like playing with Weston. He makes sure no one bullies us. Have the last cookie. Weston's worried about us. Oh, I don't want him to make it. Oh, I don't want to make him worried. I'm a good girl, so I'll go home. All right then. Snacks dispensed, sir. Thank you, adventurer. I only wish I could do more. Stones throws no place for a child. Not that my childhood was much happier. Never enough food to go around, nor work to earn it. But no shortage of contempt from the great and the good. I remember thinking things could only get better, yet now, after the calamity and everything else, for us refugees to be forced to live outside the gates like bloody beastmen is a disgrace. They say with enough money you can change the laws here, so I'm gonna make a fortune and do just that. I'll buy the excavation rights and start my own mining business. Then I'll give my fellow refugees the work they're crying out for and pay them fairly. The mining companies have profited from our suffering, suffering for too long, but in their hubris they've grown complacent, presenting us with a golden opportunity. And we'll take it, adventurer. We'll reclaim our dignity, and with it, our place within those walls. We found her. We found the vein. Wiston, you must come and see. Already? Amazing. We leave at once. You should join me, my friend. Come and bear witness to history in the making. I think I will. Sounds exciting. Where are we headed here? Uh, okay, it's a bit south. Down in a ravine. All right, I'm off. Let's see here. I think we're getting pretty close. Yes, down there. Okay.
Man. Jealous of people with mounts. <laughs> I want to go fast. It's going to make these recordings go way quicker. When I have a ride. It won't be that far off. We'll get it someday. Ah, okay. Duty calls. Commence battle for way down in the hole. These are called... I think they're just called duties, or... I, you know, I honestly forget what the name of them is. I think they're called duties, but these are just sort of like little instanced battles and stuff that are... Uh, you'll be doing them frequently in the story quests. Falls balls, son. A vein of ore in the middle of a ruined, bloody city? God's damned idiot. What did you think was going to happen? That you strike it rich and get cozy with the order? While the masters of Ulta looked on, no one crosses the syndicate. <sighs> the syndicate? <laughs> Finally sunk in, has it? Well, look at this. Not all your friends have deserted you, it seems. Lucky boy. Now you won't have to die alone. O mournful voice of creation, grant ye this humble stone a soul that it may wake to life. Who's that spouting gibberish? Show yourself! This ain't part of the plan. Bloody hells, does Lord Lotorito mean to kill us too? Ah, boy. It is large, and my level's been scaled down slightly to be more <laughs> appropriate for the duty or the challenge of this fight, but that's fine. We are still pretty high level, excessively powered. This will go fairly quick. You're strong, but are you strong enough to withstand this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nope, but I am smart enough to dodge it. I don't know what that would have done. Caused damage, probably, maybe status effects. You just don't want to be standing in those, or these, or these. <laughs> Any of them, really. I do very much like this style of MMORPG combat system where you are having to move and be on your feet. Impossible. Never has the golem been so sorely tested. It's level 10, man. It's not... <laughs> it's not that wild. Cool animation, though. That the golem could be vanquished. That man's no ordinary adventurer. Hello. Damn, seems I've missed all the fun. I see you didn't need my help this time. I would compose a ballad in your honor, but I fear no words would do you justice. The songstress of Ulda herself could not rival your beauty. Oh, stop it. I've oft heard it said that a blossom's beauty can move a man to love and long, but I never truly believed it until I met you two desert roses. I hear they attacked another caravan. Ah, uh, and business is suffering for it. Bloody Amalja. What stirred him up, do you reckon? Another raid, and I'll wager that caravan was carrying crystals, much like the last. If they truly mean to summon a primal, we must act quickly. Are you coming, love? You wouldn't keep a girl waiting, would you? <laughs> Perish the thought. So tell me, where in this marvel of a city might you lovely ladies be staying?
At this rate, grain will soon be more precious than gold. A result of the uncommonly bad harvests, to be sure. And we have you to thank for them, do we not? Aye, this weakening of the etheric flow must surely be linked to Dalamud's descent. So we're seeing past events. And, of course, to the primals. A fine mess, but we must not lose hope. Louis Soi will know what to do. We need only trust in his judgment. Truly a marvel of Charlian ingenuity. It's as if I could reach out and touch the ether. Time to focus. No more gallivanting about like before. The Scions are counting on you. Have faith. Just have faith. You can do this. Hmm. This disturbance is recent. The Sultan Tree? Maybe Papashan will know something of it. I'm up. Looks like they gave you quite a thrashing. Can you walk? It's me. I was too late. Our person of interest had already quit the scene. The general. Very well. I shall be there and on. My colleagues went to great lengths to provide me with the means to detect etheric disturbances, but every time I find one, you seem to be in the middle of it. I'm starting to wonder if it might not be simpler just to follow you around. Sadly, I have business elsewhere. Tread softly, my friend. The carefully laid trap you dismantled was clearly sanctioned by Lord Lolorito. I heard the blades mention him as they fled. Believe me when I tell you that he is not a man to be trifled with. The Sultana's enemies grow bolder by the day, and I suspect they have the support by uh, they have the support of outside forces. Thank you. If you hadn't come along, those bastards would surely have slaughtered us all. I would speak with you further, but it isn't safe for us to linger here. Find me at the coffer and coffin later. Until then, stay safe. I shall accompany Wiston and his men. They need protection, and I need more information. Ah, but where are my manners? I've yet to properly introduce myself. I'm Thancred, a humble scholar surveying the flow of ether and Thanalin. It's an honor and a privilege to make your acquaintance. I hope when next we meet it is under more auspicious circumstances. Farewell. Ah, uh, wait a moment. It occurs to me that we may have... Hmm, never mind. Fare thee well. Very interesting. And we win. Okay, I need to get back to the coffer and coffin. See you there. By the way, about the timestamps, uh, down in the description and on the timeline of the video, I've been, uh, I decided to kind of, like, uh, split sections up by quest, for the most part, which seemed like the most logical thing. If, uh, if y'all can think of a way that would be more useful to you, by all means, let me know. I'm, uh, perfectly happy to adapt that. I just kind of went with, uh, my plan A for the time being. We'll see how it works, huh? Hello. Twelve bless you, my friend. You risked your life to save ours. Betrayed by my own guards. Gods, I was a fool to trust those men. Lolorito owns the gods damned brass blades. I should have questioned their motives from the start. 
Even so, I could hardly have predicted what that the wealthiest man in Uldah would want me dead for the heinous crime of seeking to change the law. I'm just a merchant, for God's sakes. That ruthless bastard. And what of that monstrosity? Those were his own men. It beggars belief. Well, that's it. I'm finished. If I stay in Uldah any longer, I'm as good as dead. My associates, my friends, gods, even the children may not be safe if I don't disappear. And you, gods damn it, if Lola Rito learns of your involvement, you'll be next. I'll speak with the others and make sure your part in this stays secret. Beyond that, I don't know what to suggest. Maybe you should seek the counsel of Mistress Momodi. She's helped countless adventurers in her time. Maybe she'll know what to do. Now go quickly now, my friend. Lolorito's spies may be watching. Good advice. Don't walk through me. Rude. All right. I've been wanting to go check in with Momodi anyway. Let's head back to town. Ah, here again. Momodi! Good to see you. Who's this doppelganger? I don't like them. <laughs> they have better gear than me, but at least we're the same height now. <laughs> Settle down, Dermon. You got nothing to worry about. No one seems to know you are at the ruins. Weston, on the other hand, is now a pariah. About as welcome around here as a rabid wolf, poor bugger. Suffice to say, that boy risked the wrath of the wrong man. Lord Lolorito. Chairman of the East Aldenard Trading Company, generous contributor to the Order of Nalthal, and member of the Syndicate. Didn't get where he is by leaving loose ends, that one. Which is why he ain't above killing his own men. Hells, even if those blades knew what was coming, it's not like they could refuse to do their benefactor's bidden. <sighs> Just don't let this color your view of Uldah, Dermon. It's true that there are some here who ain't afraid to crack a few skulls if it gets them what they want, but most of us are decent folk just trying to make ends meet. You know, a lot of people would call you a damn fool for risking your life to save a marked man. But I believe you did a good thing, Dermon, and for that, you have my respect. Listen, you've been through a lot lately. Why don't you rest a spell? I'll have the boys at the Hourglass set you up with a room. My treat. Just have a word with Otopa Potopa when you, uh, whenever you feel like staying. Yay, I can stay in inns now. And when you've got your appetite for adventure and back, uh, consider taking on a guild leave or two. No, thank you. We have a lot of requests from locals looking to hire adventurers for various jobs. It'd be a good way for you to earn yourself some extra gil. Eustace can tell you more about how the system works, so go and speak with him if you're interested. Guild leaves, by the way, were a relic from 1.0, uh, the 1.0 version of Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> oh, we're so happy to finally have a room. <laughs> You now have access to the recommendations. This feature displays a list of... Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. So. Let's go... Here, let's go hang out in our in-room for a little bit. I've been really wanting to have one. And now we can go into our in-room whenever we want. Not only here, but in any town that has them. It's our own little in-room. With lots of handy little features that we can take advantage of another time. Anyway. That's my room. Back to work. But yeah, Guild Leaves, those were a thing that were a relic of the 1.0 very rough release of Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, they were sort of like a repeatable quest type thing uh, that were sort of really meant to be the bread and butter of this game's like leveling and play experience. They are darn near a redundant sort of just like lingering feature now that you can still like take advantage of to get some fast levels un under certain circumstances, but honestly, more often than not, <laughs> I barely have done any in the entire time I've played 14, and that's okay. Goodness, Mamodi, you're popular. All right, Mamodi of the Quicksand has word of work for a willing adventurer. Hey, that's me. Look what the curl dragged in. Good to see you, Dermon. I'd ask what brings you, but I reckon we both know the answer to that already. Well, have I ever let you down before? No, oh, wait, don't answer that. So, happens I know a fella by the name of Dadanin who needs a hand. He's a merchant by trade, selling precious stones to those in Uldah with the means to buy them. He's asked that I send any looking for work his way. You can find him over in Horizon if you fancy. That's in western Thanalan, mind you. Just cross the bridge north of Scorpion Crossing and the road will take you there. Knowing the circles he deals in, might be he'll have some talk of the royal family that'll interest you as well. And why not make use of a chocobo porter for the journey to Horizon, if you've the gill for it, that is. You'll find the chocobo stables just across the way from my quicksand. Uh, find Mimigun, he'll set you straight. Well, off you go then. I haven't got all day to be holding your bloody hand. Yes, ma'am. 
And who needs chocobos? I already attuned myself to the etherite in that area. Let's... Uh, horizon. Here we go. Let's just teleport right there. This is why I did all the work. To make life easy for myself. Welcome to Horizon, everyone. We're here already. <laughs> There's town. We've gone quite a ways. Dot and in. I'm here. Dermon, I presume? Hi, Mamodi said to expect you, and so I have. Welcome to Horizon. Ours is a trading settlement that sees goods in from the port of Vesper Bay to the west, and trade we do. Nary a day goes by that Horizon isn't bustling with some manner of merchants and officials. They keep us running about busy, they do. Enough so that I wish I had chocobo legs in place of my own. And that's why I've asked Mamodi to send me any souls looking for work. A twelve know there's plenty of it to be done around here. Speak to me again when you're ready to make yourself of use to- of some use. Listen, I'm super useful right now. Uh, but first, pants. <laughs> uh, I mean, they are better. I I'll take them. Probably won't even wear them. Gear's pretty good white. Boy, the levels come fast early. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Anyway, uh, Dadanen would like you to deliver a message to Copper Bell Mines. It so happens that I've a situation that must be resolved post-haste, and I do mean post-haste. I'm plumb out of premium product, and my latest order has yet to arrive. If I keep my customers waiting any longer, this could irrevocably damage my reputation. What's worse, I paid my man in advance for his services. Despite his assurances that it would be a simple affair, I've heard nothing since he departed for Copperbell Mines days ago. Find Drunken Stag and give him this notice. I cannot afford any further delay. Can do. Where is that place, anyway? It's, oh, it's just around the corner. You got it. Dermon's on the case. Oh, our town looks nice at night. Oh, and there's our guide. Drunken Stag. How goes? What do you want? Hmm? Dodanen's product. Yes, indeed. A firmly worded reminder of delivery from the jeweler, Dodanen. I have this for you. He can send all the notices he likes. It won't change a thing. The concerns closed the mines due to some incident in the depths. The god's damn shame, too. Lost a decent haul just over yonder during all the chaos. Ah, oh, boy, and you have shoes for me? Everyone's so generous with the clothing around here. Anyway, happy to help. Uh, Drunken Stag needs someone to retrieve the raw Nasha shite he dropped outside the mines. The product... what the... That was someone's mount, I think. <laughs> the product you heard Dodden and going on about is a valuable gemstone known as raw Nasha shite. I managed to dig up a goodly amount just before the mines were closed off, actually. Packed it up and hauled it out, even. But then them twelve damned coblins came along. Not like any coblins I'd seen before, and hungry only for the good rocks. They had eyes for my gemstone, so I had no choice but to oblige. The stone torches had their hands full evacuating the mines, so they ignored the beasts. Even now, they're only concerned with keeping people- uh, They're only concerned with keeping people- What's going on with all the- <laughs> I think that's the car from 15. There's- There's a lot of mounts in this game, I should mention. You'll see them around... everywhere. <laughs> Where was I? Even now, they're only concerned with keeping people out. Please, friend, if you're willing to face the coblins, would you bring me my Nashashite? You got it, buddy. Dermon's on the job. Let's pick some fights. Oh, heck, I might not even have to fight anything. I can probably just retrieve the ore. Never mind, we're fighting. <laughs> uh, by the way... Again, just more little 101 Final Fantasy XIV lessons. Uh, if you see enemies with these sort of like red and gold markers near their name, those are ones that are aggressive, that will probably attack you if they see you. All these others, they're pretty passive and they'll uh, only fight if you attack them first, which is nice. You're not going to run into a lot of those kinds of monsters after the uh, early levels in the game, but it's nice early on. The Gracious, you're an unpleasant face, aren't you? Anyway, I'm going to finish fighting these things and uh, retrieve the product. Be right back with you. And there we go, Nasha Shite gathered, Drunken Stag, I have collected. Hello. How'd you fare, friend? Did you find the raw Nasha Shite? You bet I did. An extremely ra uh, rare variety of Malachite that gets its, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll read more descriptions later in the game. Beautiful, isn't it? 
Rarer than many stones, and more expensive than most. They say the green's the same as the eyes of Nanasha ul Nasha, who once ruled as the Sultana. This should save Dadanen from his troubles, if there's enough left. There's far less here than what I found. I reckon those coblins made a meal of the stuff. Bloody waste. Well, thank you for the hat. <laughs> I should just take the money. I'm not wearing that. I've fashion to consider. Drunken Stag wishes to repay your kindness with some useful information. Ooh, the best kind. You'd like a chance to make some money, right? Then I know just how you, I can repay you for your kindness. Swarms of sun midges have been harassing travelers along the road connecting Horizon to here. It's gotten so bad the brass blades have started paying folks to keep the roads clear. If you find it hard to believe the swarms of tiny midges could be so troublesome, then you've never seen a chocobo driven into a frenzy by one. There have already been some tr terrible accidents. Do your part and slave a few swarms. After that, let Fufalupa know. Uh, he'll reward you for your trouble and maybe even offer you more work. I am here for more work. Dull though it may be. Alright, sun midges, get out! You are no longer wanted here. Bugs. Leave town and never come back. And there we go. Alright. Midge swarms handled. Let's go turn this nonsense in. Do 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 do. And there's our Fufulupa. Hello, hello. Greetings and salutations, adventurer. To what do I owe this... What? You've slain how many swarms of sun midges? You have my sincerest thanks. The brass blades have been struggling to keep them in check, so your assistance is greatly appreciated. Will you be staying in Horizon Long? If so, there's much and more you can do to help here. Sounds great. I'll take the... Sure, why not? I'll take it. Thanks, buddy. Boy, fast levels out here. Anyway, y'all... We're going to go ahead and call it for today, but I will be back again soon, and we will continue our <laughs> adventures, feels like too strong a word, but we'll get to the adventures is the point. Do take care, and I'll try to remember where all my emotes are. Is it this one? Sure. Goodbye, everyone! <laughs>